Oh, my Lanta! <gasps> you stole my baby! <laughs> Quetzal came and took my baby! Bring back my Jerbobo! What is going on again, Nerd Parators? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. We're playing some more ARK Survival Evolved over here on the Ragnarok server. Hanging out with Blitzfire911. What's going on, buddy? Hello. Hello. And what is up? I hope all good things. Not much. Yeah, not much is going on right now. It's very calm, very smooth sailing, calm seas right now because we just finished off with The Purge. Now, The Purge, if you guys aren't familiar with, is the weekly event that we have on, on Saturdays, every Saturday. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern. It's where crazy PvP time happens, where structure damage is increased, and all shit basically hits the fan. So the purge has just concluded, and we have had a couple of things brought to our attention from the, the raid itself. We've learned quite a bit about uh, what some of our weaknesses were when there was a big attack on our base. We actually, we live-streamed the whole thing, Purge Day live stream. so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It was a, like a four-hour-long live stream, so it was... I mean, it was a long one, but the Purge Day shenanigans were really, really crazy. Anyway, what we learned from the Purge is that our our ArcNet defense system, version 1.0, while very effective, was actually not big enough. We didn't build, we should have built all the way down, because at a certain point, they took wyverns and started flying in. Let me actually get on the Quetzal so we can recreate this for you. They started flying in wyverns with turtles directly beneath our entire system right here ignoring the whole thing so we are out to try to change that today as well as go over a couple of other things are you ready for the excitement because i sure am guys i am nick this is nerd parade bliss did you fall off maybe <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the channel and thank you so much for coming to hang out with us today as we improve upon the ArcNet defense system dare we say 2.0 yeah. I got off so you could come on, phrasing. Uh, <laughs> I, I dismounted so that you could mount. All right, I'm going to stick some of my foundation. Uh, you have some too? I have a lot. Okay, yeah, I got a lot too. Uh, summer in the birdie bird. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. You know what? Is that too high? Yeah. Is it too high? Should we do every layer or every other layer? I was. We started out doing every layer. We could do every other layer if you prefer. It doesn't matter to me. We got plenty of hatch frames. Yeah, it's not like we're short on the hatchy frames, so let's go nuts with it. Every layer, and we're gonna remember we want to stagger these. If you didn't see the original ArcNet version 1.0, I, I want to ride you. Maybe I want to ride you. Oh, you're building off. You're you're picking up what I'm putting down here. You're buying what I'm selling. You're scooping what I'm pooping. I'm rating what you're building. <laughs> Yes, you are. Okay, before we get into that ridiculousness, I'm gonna... <laughs> my pro grapple skills are not very pro or grapple or skill-like. But what we want to do is completely stagger these. Oh, oh, am I on one? Oh, I'm on one. This is magic bananas. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, that is so nice. Now, is there a big line in the middle here? We want to do... I got really good at walking a tightrope when we were setting these up beforehand. I don't know why I have my sniper out. It was just, it was a reflex. I saw something. I did it again. Holy crap, what's happening to me? I have an itchy trigger finger. Now, this is a boo-boo. Do you have a demo remote? I do. Will you get this one right here? Because I built it directly. Oh, oh. Nobody saw that. That wasn't a rubber band or anything. Oh my god, it's doing it again. I took fall damage twice. Seriously? <laughs> Did this, this one did it too. Oh, craps. Okay. Yeah, I think we hit a, a spot here where we need to do that. So that it, there we go. If you, if you want to demo this one here, we can progress. Well, this, back up. Which one? Uh, this one that I'm staring at right now. I'm walking up to it. Because I accidentally all up in your face here with the <laughs> wrong direction. That's better. So much better. And we can stagger it like that. Yes. Okay. Now we've got some serious staggers going on. And we're going to build this all the way down. I'm going to start laying some extra layers. This could be completed further on down the road. What we're, what we're more concerned about today 
is getting the extra layers. And eventually, as we build down, this is going to get easier and freaking easier. Um, yeah, we don't have to walk a tightrope anymore. Exactly. We don't have to tightrope it. We could just build from the ground all nice and relaxed style. How am I going to do this one here? Excuse me, Quetzal butt. You know what? Actually, I do want to ride you. I want to get all up in your Quetzal butt. Quetzal, bu Quetzal butt. I meant to say Quetzal booty, but I ended up saying butt. Er, er. We got to stagger this. Okay. Aw, oh, dicks. That's not staggered. I, I, I demo remoted it, I promise. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's staggered, right? Yes, there's a line in the middle. Now, the reason why we're staggering this, in case you missed the, uh, the earlier version, is so that the turtles can't basically, like, Tetris their way down. Do, 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 do. No, uh, if they, like, land and they walk, this is kind of a structurally cheap way to, well, cheaper than doing layer after layer after layer after layer of ceiling to prevent bomb drops on top of the base as well as now our little entry point skipping what we would like to do obviously is add a bunch of turrets on these here but again each thing that we place gets a slightly closer to structure limits so, <laughs> uh, blocking it off completely to cause some annoyance to where that they would not be able to penetrate through is also for us kind of i don't know just as easy maybe yeah. What do you think? I mean, this is since this is obviously not an official server, turrets are slightly more expensive than they are officially. And that's to prevent, like, ridiculous amounts of turret spam herpes. I mean, we do have a lot, but they're, I think turrets are something like three times more expensive. So if you were building one turret on an official server, on a nerd parade server, it costs you... It would... Wait. One turret would equal three turrets on an official. There we go. I got the words out. I hope that wasn't confusing. I didn't mean for it to be, but it probably was. So, it's cheaper for us just to do the hatch frames, which are normal cost, than it would be to do, like, crazy amounts of turret spam. Which I feel like is a... tired meta. Would you agree or disagree to this? Turret density? It's overused. It's, it's over... Well, yeah, it is overused, and it's... And they've patched a lot of stuff that makes it fun to raid that. Yes. Yes. No more, like multiple c4s on a dino it's just really hard to there's really no meta other than soak and tur turret soak meta for raiding basically means snooze fest let's march in a bronto get some veggie cakes multiple things mate boost stegos whatever and soak turrets until they're out of bullets which could be hours upon hours so that's what we're kind of kind of trying to go for in the nerve parade server to make turrets a little bit more expensive so that it's not the turret soak meta like it's more advantageous, as well as the purge meta, you know, where structures take more damage. It's to come up with actual rating instead of just sitting there soaking and soaking and soaking. While it is a valid meta, and it works, and we've used it multiple, multiple times, I don't want every raid to be like, here come the Brontos, let's soak. Here comes the next waves. You know, it's just, I like rating to be different and spicy. You know, different types of metas each time and make it fun and exciting. But we've, we're, we're doing enough buildy buildy times here. Uh, well, why don't we move over to something a little bit more exciting? And a big question that we continuously got... I'm going to actually drive the Quetzal down so that we can come back up here and continue this build. It's a, a continuous question that I got on the, the Purge stream video. I thought it was a pretty well-known thing. But it was a question about our baby boas. Our baby jerboas, which are like the most overpowered pvp dino right now for a very interesting reason so we've got a here let's get yeah but yeah but who's our shoulder buddy and when i say shoulder buddy we we just choose your bow is you can use pretty much anything it does not have to be your jerbobo it could be a compi it could be a mesopithecus uh, a vulture i mean jerbo is a scorched earth dinos maybe you don't have access to it any type of shoulder buddy will work for this meta but Jerboas are just the cutest. Yeah, exactly. Jerboas are just the cutest. They're super easy to tame. Uh, it, I don't know. Insert whatever reason here. They're really quick breed outs, quick imprints. And, and look at how cute he is. He just wants his belly rubbed. There we go. I've grappled him. And now he's on my shoulder. Okay. 
So this is the this is what we were doing in the in the purge event that caused so much confusion. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you grappling your Jaboa? Some of you may already know about this, but quite a few didn't. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Let me let me make this even more interesting. We're going to get up on Sir Gigs a lot here. All right, I'm on Sir Gigs a lot, and I think I am way too. I'm going to pick you and drag you into turrets. No, rah, please rah, rah. don't pick me and drag me into turrets. <gasps> what has happened? What, what has, has happened? What, what has happened, happened Bleatsores? For some reason, you were unable to pick me. Why? <gasps> Why is this? Oh, no. Uh, oh, my Lanta. <gasps> <laughs> you stole my baby. <laughs> Quetzal came and took my baby. Bring back my Jabobo. <laughs> please. Return my baby. Oh, God, he's going for a ride on the back of your rocket ship right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's... Okay. The, this... Oh. Call child services. Blitz stole my baby. Oh, he's he's safe now. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're currently breeding out more Jerbobos because lots of them died during the, uh, during the event. But as you were seeing, picking is not some... I thought you were... Okay, well... Oh, you landed. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Blitz is bad at this game. No, no, no. Just teasing, Blitzers. I love you, buddy. Uh, as you can see, you can't be picked while you're grappled to a Jerboa. And it's like one of the current PvP metas that I, I think it... I thought it was pretty well known, but apparently not. I know it's widely used on official servers, but here we go. Let's get Blitzers. Oh, we got him. Wait, what happened? Why can't we grab you? It's because we're grappled to a Jerboa. Now, uh, I'm going to grab... Oh. Cheeky. I'm going to grab another... <laughs> Let's put all these in. I'm super heavy. I couldn't even move on the on the Giga. We're going to put this stuff in here and show you that it's not just like Quetzals. Like, it's any type of air dino. So I'm going to go here on the Wyvern. This might take me a couple of passes because I'm not super great on Wyvern picking. But Blitzers, if you would like to get up on that Giga to make this a little bit easier on me. Giga. Oh, I knew it was going to take me more than one pass. <laughs> I'm not, I'm terrible at, at wyvern picking. There we go. It'll, it'll dismount you on the Giga. It'll dismount you, but it won't carry you off and drag you into turrets. So this meta, while riding a dino, is amazingly useful, and it puts more skill, more emphasis on the skill of your snipers, because you're going to have to snipe this character off of the back of whatever dino that they're riding. Peter Ann time. I'm better at picking on Peter Ann's if I could get unstuck from you. Oh, we should mention, uh, do not hit C or control. Exactly, yes. While you grab. <laughs> I was going to pick you on the ground. If you hit C <laughs> or if you go prone or control or whatever, and then we dropped him. I didn't even, it I'm does still it, standing on Yeah, <laughs> it like barely moves you off the Giga even if, if they're, depending on, I guess, like what, what angle they hit you at. You can just mount right back. So we're landing. All right. Where I'm going to hit C. It'll break your grapple. If you hit X, it'll do the same thing. Crouching, or you can't use your crossbow at all when you are currently grappled to your Jaboa. You just can't use it. Uh, you can use parachutes still. You can use whatever. Uh, I actually don't have parachutes. <laughs> I didn't bring any. But, <laughs> yeah, C or X will break your grapple. So you want to avoid doing that, or you want to vo avoid using your, your grapple whenever you're grappled to your Jaboa. I had the idea, like, oh, what if we use two grapples? I don't have a second grapple hook, but what if you use two grapples? Like, one that's grappled to the Jaboa, the other one? No, it doesn't work. So that's not that's not worth doing either. But that's the reason why we were grappling to our Jabobos. Wow, I missed horribly. That's the reason why we're grabbing, grabbing our Jabobos. Is so that we couldn't get picked off the back of dinos, because we, we were up against a tribe that is very good at picking. So to counter that pick meta, this was what we were doing. Using our shoulder buddies of anti-pickitude. Right? So, Nerd Parade is presenting you with PvP meta secrets, if you didn't already know them. I thought it was pretty well known, but in case you didn't know about it, in case you missed it, that is why we grapple to the Jabobos. Pretty cool. And you can, like I said in the beginning, you can use any type of shoulder shoulder buddy that you want. Doesn't have to be Jerboas. We just like Jerboas because they're cute, cuddly, and they breed up really quickly. And they're very easy to tame. 
Very easy. Yeah. Very easy. So now that we've talked about that little meta, should we go back and do some more buildy builds? Yeah. Continue our arc nettery of 2.02'd? <laughs> I'm very excited about it. And then it's... I. This is what I was talking about in a couple, a couple of video, videos ago. This is why I enjoy actually getting raided. Because each time we get raided, we tend to find out what the weak points are in, in the base. Like, what needs to be, like, kind of hotfixed or, or, or patched for the next go-around of, of the raid. And the only way to learn that, the only way to improve your base is to have it get raided. You just have to successfully defend against the raid or rip base better luck next time try a different build meta but for us like i was saying earlier the flying through here we're going to try to fix that one but that was the only real weakness that i noticed that we had yeah or at least that's the only weakness that they tried to exploit during the purge raid everything else was met with kind of like colossal failure they didn't get past the uh ridiculous wall of herpy her penis opus <laughs> and herpes mixed together they didn't get past the ridiculous blockade wall it was just this small little area here where they were flying wyverns in, going directly for the base. They did blow the gigapin. They blew a gate on the gigapin. Yeah, but that's, I mean... That's it, but yeah. That's, that's like whatever. We didn't... That's just dino storage so that there's an extra <laughs> little layer of protection against our, our dinos. If, that, if That gate that got blown has been blown in every purge so far. Seriously? The yeah, same gate? Hello. Purge. Hello, Hello, Loki Bay! Hi! Welcome! We we're well, just we yeah. were just recanting the purges. Oh. Yes, we were recanting the uh, the purges. We were talking about what we could do to better defend our our basitude uh -huh. from the next purge. But I think that's pretty much going to take care of our our business here today. We've just got to work on our buildability of times. Oh, Blitz, you placed that so perfectly. <laughs> right as I jumped, you placed that underneath me. You caught me. That was amazing. We we're going to build this all the way down. To the tippy top. And the good thing, oh, another good thing about using the hatch frames is you can pepper the turrets around and it won't line a sight stuff. Still shoot. Yeah. All right. I think that's just gonna about gonna be about doing it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you liked the video. We've got some build to buildy times ahead of us, but please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Boom, boom. Let me know that you like the stuff. Get grappled in the face by your teammate. Is that is that are you are you punching the like button with your metal grapple rod or your, the butt of your crossbow? I'm grappling the like, like button and never letting it go. <laughs> <laughs> and my face is currently like, never my let like me button. go, like button. Uh. Anyway, guys, subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one. And so you don't miss out on any of the crazy cool action coming your way, purge day or otherwise. And please remember to take care of yourselves and stay awesome. We'll catch you in the next video, whatever that might be. You're going to drag me off the edge, aren't you? It's my like button. <laughs> <You're dr> <laughs> so my whole body's the like button. <laughs> Fantastic. Later. <laughs>